When I bought the 15 horsepower outboard for Albatross, I mounted it on an old speedboat to try it out. Turns out it runs great, so now it's time to take it back off and see for the first time if it fits on the transom of Albatross. When I disassembled the throttled cable linkage, I broke off the plastic tip where the retaining clip goes. I could just order a new one, but this is a common problem and I'm afraid that it's just gonna happen again and uh, that would be annoying, so instead I'm gonna replace this bit with something made out of brass. And this is a perfect project for my tiny MCO lathe. And here's a nice piece of brass, so time to put it in the chuck and get started. <laughs> Who put a light bulb in the chuck again? Tell you, every time I go to use the lathe, someone has put a stupid clickbaity light bulb and stupid can't do my lathe work and stupid and it can't. <clears throat> Ah, perfect. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. These two holes shouldn't meet, but they do. <laughs> I screwed up the measurements with this hole uh, when I drilled it on the lathe. So it's a bit too deep. Um, these two connect now. That's uh, not what I was aiming for. At first I got upset and I thought, oh no, I'm going to have to start over because I, I didn't want a weak spot right here. But then I realized that luckily this hole isn't deeper than about, well, to there. It meets, it just meets this one. So the important part of the material is just to, on the sides of the hole. And uh, the fact that they connect and form a <laughs> open channel doesn't, doesn't affect uh, the structural integrity of the part well that was scary i didn't feel like starting over but uh, now we're good and we can uh, continue oh i like that well it's time to put it back on the lathe tap this hole and uh, then uh, cut it free
All right, time to put it all together. Now that is going to be super strong, much better than the original. I think we're really happy about that. Quick fun fact, this is an old lathe, and the drive belts, when they break, it can be hard to find a replacement, and they can be quite expensive. So a couple of years ago, it broke in the middle of a project, so to get me through the day, I actually printed one out of TPU. And the funny thing is, this is that same one, so it's been holding up for, well, maybe two or three years. Uh, just a tip if you're ever in the same situation. Well, that's all for now. If you have a different way of approaching what I did in this video, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Be sure to follow the progress of Albatross and my other projects. I want to make videos more frequently, but it's hard to find the time. So if you want to help me out, feel free to check out my Patreon. Till next time, have a nice day.